In today's video, I'm going to talk about my personal experience with taking Kratom for anxiety. Just a big medical disclaimer, this is personally my experience that I'm sharing, and in no way am I telling people that Kratom is going to be the end-all be-all for anxiety. You have to check with your healthcare provider first before trying Kratom, and Kratom is not smart to mix with other antidepressant, anti-anxiety medications. So again, do your research and make sure you check with your medical provider first. Anxiety is unfortunately a really common problem here in the States, and I am finding that there are more and more herbal remedies out there that people are trying for anxiety. Kratom has been growing in popularity, and so more people are trying Kratom for anxiety and finding that it's really, really helping them. And it's not the same for everyone. For some people, it makes their anxiety worse, especially if you're taking stimulating white strains. But for some people, when you find the strain that works best for you, you can definitely notice a positive improvement in your anxiety symptoms. I've mentioned this once before, but I definitely find that Kratom kind of mellows out my mood a little bit. I don't find myself swinging too far emotionally one way or the other. It keeps me pretty stable, which is really helpful in my day-to-day -day life. A lot of my anxiety can be brought on by me feeling over emotional about something, and so having that very mild kind of mood and temper helps me not have a panic attack. Here is my personal journey with anxiety. So I've always been a rather anxious person. I would get anxious about the future, anxious about the past, and I would never really live in the present. And this still is a problem to this day, but it's gotten a lot better through therapy and herbal medicine and all of that. Now, about two years ago, when I first moved to Texas, I was totally fine with my anxiety. I actually had gone through Air Force ROTC, and during that time, I actually had Crohn's disease symptoms, and then I was medically disqualified. But the best thing about going through ROTC for me was that it really helped with my social anxiety because I had really bad social anxiety. And a lot of people, will comment and give their anecdotal stories about how Kratom helps them with their social anxiety because it lifts your mood up, it makes you a little bit talkative in some cases, and it can really help with social anxiety for so many people. Luckily for me, when I found Kratom, I had already resolved most of my social anxiety issues through therapy and other practice methods. Now, when I moved to Texas, I started having these panic attacks and it would happen every time I ate food and that would happen as I was falling asleep. It would happen in the middle of the night and then just randomly. I went to the ER twice, I went to a heart doctor, I got so many things checked out and we still don't know what the problem is and why these panic attacks keep happening randomly. It's a very frustrating situation. I feel like it's something with my nervous system if I had a guess, like a switch was flipped or something, but it has been a very frustrating battle for me for the last two years. I actually discovered Kratom a year before all of that anxiety stuff happened and even though I've gone periods without taking Kratom, I still have these panic attacks and again, we don't know why. I have been doing things like limiting my caffeine intake, eating a healthy diet and exercising, but unfortunately I do have to take certain medications to help with my anxiety. And I've tried so many different ones. I've tried Celexa, Zoloft, Wellbutrin, and I just had no luck with them. So currently I am on Deloxetine and it works okay, but I will still get panic attacks. And then once in a while, I will take a half of a clonopin to stop an anxiety attack from progressing to the point where it's debilitating for me. It is a very frustrating thing to talk about. And if you are someone that is suffering with a similar issue like me, please leave your comment down below because connecting with people helps me not feel alone in this struggle because I don't know anyone in my personal life that's going through this issue. I have also tried kava to help with anxiety, valerian root, chamomile tea, and all of the relaxing herbs that you can think of. And I actually have a whole video, which I'll link up here, which talks about my favorite herbal remedies for anxiety. I will say that Kratom has done a really great job of helping keep my anxiety at bay as long as I stay away from white strains and I don't take too much. Now, a lot of people do want to know what exactly I recommend for anxiety, and I really enjoyed the botanical family. This is what their packaging looks like, and this is the Red Borneo. The Red Borneo and Dark Red are both these gorgeous, darker red fermented kratom powder that really, really helps you wind down from the day and relax. For me personally, I take two grams of this, even if I feel a panic attack coming on, and it really just mellows me out and makes me feel so much better without being overly sedating. 
and it's definitely not stimulating in my opinion. I'll put a code right here that you can use if you'd like to save. I definitely talk about safety here on this channel when it comes to getting Kratom, so as always, make sure that you are getting a safe source of Kratom. For me personally, one and a half to two grams is my sweet spot for Kratom, and I don't try to take any more than that, and if I take any less than that, I'm not getting the effects that I desire. However, I don't take Kratom for anxiety, it just happens to be a positive side effect for me. I take it for my Crohn's disease, but it ends up helping my anxiety as well. Now there are risks and potential side effects that you can have from taking Kratom, which includes upset stomach, increased anxiety, increased heart rate because it is a stimulating herb in a lot of cases. There are dark fermented reds, which would be what I would go for to help you relax. And I always say that Kratom is a tool to be used in conjunction with something that you are working on. So for example, I am dealing with anxiety, but I can't just take Kratom and hope that it's you know slapping a band-aid on the situation and it'll eventually get better. It's not gonna get better unless I put in the work, and that includes maintaining a healthy diet, getting my hormones and vitamin levels checked, and addressing any deficiencies that I have. These are all really important things exercising moderately, having a healthy diet, staying away from caffeine, getting enough sleep. I have to keep in mind all of these factors along with taking Kratom that when I take my monthly breaks, which is going to be my next video about my tapering and my break and all of that, when I take monthly breaks, I don't feel so lost without Kratom. Will I miss it and do I miss it during my breaks? Yes but it makes me appreciate it that much more. But that's my experience with taking Kratom for anxiety. Make sure that you do your research and you contact your healthcare provider before trying Kratom for anxiety. It could be helpful for you, it could not be helpful for you, and the only way you can find out is by trying and playing around with your serving size a little bit and seeing what that sweet spot might be for you, always using a scale, taking it responsibly, respecting the plant, it'll respect you back, all of those great things that I like to talk about here on my channel. Remember that managing anxiety is a journey and there's not a one size fits all solution. I hope that my personal experience of taking Kratom for anxiety can be helpful for you, but like I said, do your research and contact your healthcare provider first before you try it for anxiety. We are all botanical queens and I'll see you soon in the next video.